All right, guys, this is Punjaman Bakshoy. Welcome back to our Alpha Tauri playthrough of F1 Manager 2022. It's been a while, but I figured I'd get back here. Hang on a sec. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, the uh, GeForce or NVIDIA fucking thing up there was still showing on screen. I don't know if it'll show up on the recording or not, but uh, let's see where we left off. So six points for our two guys. Uh, Pierre Gasly with six points in the Bahrain GP. So exceeding expectations so far. Suspen suspension manufactured. Let's go take a look at the cars. Doesn't really change anything. Let's see the values. Barely a change. Should we even bother? Yeah, I'll pull, I'll, oh shoot. I probably should have, oh, stupid. I probably should have manufactured two, but that's fine. Um, okay, let's go take a look. We have $14 million so far. What did we end up developing in our facility? Wind tunnel. Okay, staff facilities, operational facilities. Let's go and upgrade. Our CFD simulator or our suspension simulator. Let's go with the CFD. Okay, and what do we have for car parts development? We have a front wing and an underfloor coming, and then we have the suspension manufactured. Let's go with three. Just so we can have one for the second car and then two. Um, extra ones do we have any points to distribute we do not how about with these guys all right so we have Teo Porsche as our reserve driver I gotta remember that all right so here we are off to the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix oh. Oh, let's take a look at our car performance again car analysis Smack dab in the midfield. Well, a little bit lower than the midfield. So 11th and 13th, but we are 7th in certain um, categories. But with that out of the way, let's go and start the weekend. Okay, so here we are in FP1. It looks like it'll be a very... Okay. There's a lot of straights at Jeddah. Well, we'll give that a shot for both guys. Have any of you guys been watching the F1 Esports Championship so far? Looks like McLaren is doing pretty well. Lucas Blakely out in front at the moment, I believe. Uh, I think he won both Bahrain and Imola. And I think he probably would have won last year uh, the entire championship, as Gasly's done. I think he would have won the championship last year, but... Uh, there were quite a few races where I think like other drivers like just punted him, punted him off the track. So uh, where are we at? 50%. Not great. So I think Lucas Blakely is looking really, really good this year. We will give that a shot. And it looks like Yarno Otmir not quite as... Uh, in form or on form as he uh, has always been but he does have a lot of engagements now outside of sim racing since his um, since he's made a name for himself so I mean that could that could explain that as well but never count out Yarno Atmir. That's what I've learned in the last two years of watching F1 Esports. So we'll give that a shot with Yuki. Um, but yeah, it's actually been pretty pretty fun to watch. And uh, Ron Hart kind of coming out of nowhere really this year. I mean, not nowhere. He's been doing well in like the league races and stuff like that. But for somebody who hasn't been um, commonplace in the Esports races, um, I'm not sure if he was a reserve driver last year but I know this year he's got like a full-time drive so uh, kudos to him and I'm interested to see who 
does well. Freddie Rasmussen also starting out the year pretty pretty okay. He always starts off slow and then kind of catches up towards the end. Um, but I'm a big fan of Marcel Kiefer, and he hasn't had a great start either. But hopefully the Red Bull guys will um, make a comeback. They always do anyway. But uh, yeah, that's enough about esports. We'll we'll focus back on the game. All right. So good, man. These guys get feedback so much quicker than the Williams, the Williams team guys do. All right, let's give that a shot. Yuki about to come in now as well, I believe. Here we go. Oh, was the balance, Yuki, was the limitation. Bad, he says. Oh, 43%. God, Yuki, calm down. Calm down, my friend. All right, so that's just good. Let's try that. Okay, so that is it for FP1 at Jetta. Let's head on into FP2. We'll keep them on the same setup and we'll just put them on the new tires. All right, so Pierre is done. It'll be a little while before Yuki comes in. Setup feels great, 84%. Okay, so that is at optimal. This can be worked a bit. And the brakes are at great as well. All right, let's give that a shot. The, the okay, Yuki's in. It's efficient. only good, 63%. Uh-oh, okay, boy. Okay. All right, Pierre is done and on his way in. Just good again, dang. All right, so we're 84. That's that bad. This is me to be on the other side. All right, sending Pierre out, and Yuki should be done momentarily again. Tires are gone, it looks like. All right, Yuki is good to go. Let's take a look. 64% still? That's not good. So much, these guys are getting this shit done so much quicker. Should be able to get some laps in with Yuki here. So much better than the Williams playthrough. It takes forever, I can only, I can barely get them out for a third run by the time the free practice session is over. These guys are getting in. Pierre almost has three feedback runs, or three complete feedback runs, almost anyway. All right, so that's it for FP2. All right, we will keep them out on the same setup. Thank you. I wonder if I keep them on like um, okay. Okay. conserve tire pace, if I can just make them go two runs on the softs and then save a, a fresh pair of miss? mediums for the race. All right, so Gasly's done really quick. Okay, copy that. 86%. All right, so we have to play with this a little bit. Okay, put him on that. Just a minor change. Yuki should be done in a little bit. He's already got three feedback. Want to save a fresh set of mediums. I don't know if they'll even allow me to carry that fresh set of mediums. Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. It Oof. Sebastian Vettel. Seb is completely out. Are they going to red flag the uh, practice session? Yeah, looks like they are. All right, so let's take a look at Pierre's. Okay, and Yuki's. All right, so it looks like Okay, let's revert back. All right, so this has got to move. Will this do it? We'll give it a shot. Okay, so Pierre is done. 
Okay, copy that. We're at 94. Let's go with that. If can we run on inters? <laughs> uh try it. Let's try running on inters <laughs> to see if we can save tires here. All right, so we are running on inters to save on tires. So let's see if we can get decent feedback on it. Oh, I guess we're done. Dang, we didn't get it. Oh, man. Setup confidence. 100 on Yuki? Are you serious? Okay, so we got 100 on Yuki. I think it'll be 100 on Gasly as well. So let's take a look. All right, so we did save a set of mediums, but we lost a set of softs. Oh, that sucks. Although we will get this for the race, I think, and then we'll get this if we get into P or we get to Q3. So maybe it's not all bad. Let's take a look at Yuki's tires. Same thing. This we will get for the race, and if we get into Q3, we will get this as well. Okay, so let's go. Q1 for AlphaTauri at Jetta. Don't want to send them out right away. Maybe we'll just do two runs here. I think we should be finishing pretty high anyway. All right, so we'll wait until this first round of runners are done. We'll go out with Joe. All right, we should have clear traffic. Oh, no, never mind. Bottas is going to get in the way here. Damn it. All right, so Sonoda's up in P4. Gasly's down in P16, but that's because he got stuck in traffic. All right, new sets. New sets. 129. All right, so about 230, we need to let them out. Guys are starting to come out now. Uh, we're going to have to wait a little bit. Hopefully this will be enough time for them to get back around. I have Sunata going last. Okay, so they both got out in time, thank goodness. Come on, come on. We should be able to get through easily here. All right, so we did. Pierre Gasly finishing P8 and Yuki P13. So that's good for us. We'll send them out on, yeah, 100 confidence for both guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's take a look at that. Ah. Uh, Oh, what the hell? Okay, here we go. Yes, 100% confidence. All right, so 90%, 88%. We'll send them out on that set first. Yuki, same thing. All right, let's go into qualifying now. Again, I won't send them out right away. We'll let the first few runners go out first. Wait for the track to rubber up a little bit. Still very low track rubber and grip is just normal. So we'll wait until these guys are done with their runs or on the in laps for their runs. Just so that we don't get caught up. But we should be okay now because I think everybody's on their either on their in lap or their out lap right now. So they should either be getting off the track. All right. So Gasly out front. Tsunoda, ah, man, got caught up by Ocon. Uh, held up by uh, Ocon, I should say. Okay, so let's slow this down. Oh, man, are they going to get back to the pits in time to put on new tires? Yeah, they should be. Let's wait for Gasly. I mean, for Tsunoda. Okay, new tires. New tires. This should be quick. Once again, send out. Uh, Around 2.30. All right. Track rubber is still low. I think we'll get... Yep, we'll get out in time. Let's go. Tsunoda in the drop zone. Where did we end up? 
Ooh, Yuki can finish. All right, so P14 for Yuki. Pierre is up in P8. Once again, we'll start him on a scrub set. Friendly driver who advances to Q3 in qualifying. Okay, so this is our Q3 tire. We will have two sets of mediums. That's good. 90, 88. Let's go on the 88 and save the 90 for the actual race. Okay. Let's go into qualifying. Now, if we go out behind somebody, can we get slipstream? All right, we'll send Gasly out now. Hopefully we don't get held up by anybody. I think we're good. Yeah. All right, so Gasly up in P5 at the moment. And dropping. P7. Okay, put him on the new set. And we'll wait. About three minutes, everybody will start sending their guys. Track rubber's still low. All right, that should be it. There are only 10 guys in. All right, let's take a look. I'll wait for him to. Okay, so here it is. Gasly's last run in qualifying he is the last car on track let's see where he ends up first sector yuki is in the garage buddy what are you doing yuki's in the garage okay just green still good though green first sector that is a long first sector almost the entire yeah almost the entire first straight there the first part of the track second sector green uh, i wish it were purple but i don't think we're we have a car to be setting purple sector times yet and we need to beat a 130.3 and we only beat it by like four one thousandths of a second but that's fine pierre will be starting p8 for the race and Yuki will be in P13, I believe. Unless we have P14, I should say. Um, okay, so what does Yuki have for tires, actually? Yuki has a brand new set of softs and two sets of mediums and a set of hards. And it's a one-stop race. Of course it is. You know, we might as well extend the mediums as long as we can let's take a look at um all right so he's got two new sets of mediums and a set of hearts i mean this is good if we get a safety car early on we can go actually no no it doesn't matter because if we get a safety car early on we can't pit anyway because then we'd have to pit again so hopefully we finish on our medium to hard like strategy. All right. The good thing is that they're not close to each other, so I don't really have to um, tell Yuki to not fight with his teammate. Uh, we'll push with overtake right away. See if we can make up a few positions. I think Yuki has the pace to get in front of... No, he just dropped back. Okay. So I think Yuki has the pace to get in front of the McLaren and the Haas here. So then Gasly lost a position. Okay. Should we hold off on the overtake for now? Yeah, everybody's like right butt to nut with each other right now. So there's no point in using overtake. We're not going to be able to get by. Yuki is really close to Norris, though. Maybe we can get this overtake done early on. He's on the hards as well, I think. Yeah, Norris is on the hards. Let's get by Norris and Magnus in here, Yuki. Oh, 
or not. Who does Gasly have in front of him? Just a whole bunch of mediums. Okay. So for now, we need Yuki to just get out in front of this McLaren, who's already dropped out of DRS from Magnuson before DRS is even enabled. All right. Come on. Come on, Yuki. There's a long straight here. We can get him here. Can we sneak by? All right. Next straight, then. Next straight. This one. If not this one, then the next one, because there's another long-ass straight coming up anyway. Just dive it down the inside, Yuki. DRS enabled. DRS enabled. Come on, let's go get those points. No, nope, it's not going to happen here. Can we harvest a little bit behind him? All right, so Gasly's still stuck behind Ocon, although... Ocon is out of DRS now as well, so we might be able to steal that position off of him. Okay, now Yuki, with the help of ERS. Let's get him. He's right there, buddy. Just ripe for the taking. Okay, next corner. You're going to get the run here. Nice. Finally. We get the overtake done. Let's start harvesting again. Up next, Magnuson. 1.2 seconds ahead. Gasly still stuck behind. All right, let's go big picture now. Just to speed things up a bit. Gasly is right behind Ocon. Sunoda not really closing it down, but he is conserving. Ah, oh, man, just lost another position. McLaren, gain a position. Come on, Yuki, you're better than that, man. Gasly lost a position to Ocon as well. Will everybody, looks like everybody will be two stop, or one stopping here, I should say. Come on, Yuki. Ricardo is like two seconds behind Norris here. Don't let Schumacher overtake you now. No DRS available. No DRS available. Yep. All right, so we got around Ricardo there. But we are going to be without battery. And Gasly's not really having much success there against Ocon. Okay, good job, Yuki. Dang, two cars right on our six. Recharge on, recharge on. Copy. We did get DRS here, though. We'll still be able to get around him. All right, good, good, good. All right, recharge through this slow section here. Okay, good job, Yuki. That's a position gained for Alpha Tauri. Okay, we're probably going to lose that position to Ricardo again, going down the next DRS straight. Yep, pretty much what I su suspected. We should still have DRS down here, so we should be able to stay close to him. All right, that's enough battery recharge now. Let's go. Um, and now, Ocon. Okay, Gasly in front of Ocon now. Let's use some fuel. Oh, we lost that position again. That's a good overtake from Alpine. Something just happened. Perez just dropped back. Looks like okay. Ah, lost that position to Ocon again. A position gained for Alfa Romeo. Joe got in front of us. No. Okay, Yuki still battling with the McLarens. Let's use some overtake here. Come on, Gasly.
Let's get this done. All right, now pull away. Is he still there? He's still there. All right, good. How about Yuki now? Yuki. Use deploy, use deploy. Yeah, copy. Are we closing up on Norris? Not really. Alright, so 1.5 seconds to, Nor to Norris is Yuki, and then Gasly is fighting with Okan and Joe for P8. Can we harvest some battery here? Deploy the rest of that battery. Alright, we're entering the pit window now. No ERS left. Is that a but, we are right on the tail of Norris now. Alright, maybe with a little bit of overtake we can get in front of Norris. All right, so this is our pit. All right, we'll come in, come back out in P14. Box, box. Sunoda. Ah, still can't get in front of Norris. Come on now. Okan is right behind Yuki now. Let's take a look. Yeah, might as well come in. All right. Actually, right at the start finish straight, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay. So, coming in for an undercut. Ricardo's out in front of Yuki right now, and Gasly is behind Alonso. Alright, Yuki, can we get. Alright, we got in front of Ricardo. Let us deploy a little bit and make sure we stay out in front of. No, we just lost the position to Ricardo. Okay. Let's get out in front of Ricardo and stay out in front of Ricardo. Use this fuel to push. Gasly right behind Alonso still with Norris right behind us. Okay, so now we are in front of Alonso and behind Ocon. Damn it. We keep losing these positions. Now Norris is right behind us as well. Wasn't Norris fighting with Yuki a little earlier? Oh, has he not pitted yet? Yes, he hasn't pitted yet. All right, so we are in front of... All right, now we've been promoted to P8 with Gasly. And Tsunoda coming out behind both Ricardo and um, <sighs> Ricardo and Norris. It's okay. So we'll save a little bit of battery with Tsunoda. And then maybe make a move towards the end. Although I don't think we're going to be we're way far out of points positions right now. Can we harvest some battery behind Ocon without falling out? Oh, we can actually overtake him. And then Ocon is starting to fall back a little bit. Alright, ERS fully charged for Yuki, but he's a good three seconds behind now. Can we bring that back? 13 laps left to go. 2.8, 2.7. Gasly's looking good. Ocon's starting to drop back a little bit. Bottas and Alonso fighting now. Hopefully they'll slow each other down. Looks like they are. Yuki, deploy some battery here. Get in front of the McLarens at least before this race is over. Alright, so we're in front of Ricardo. Closing the gap down now to Lando. Let's go a bit aggressive with the tires. Will that help a bit? McLaren, gain a position. Gasly's starting to fall out now. Four laps left to go. On the low side. Damn, that battery drained quick. Yeah. Just 
just a couple laps left might as well go aggressive and with the tires and fuel i think Gasly might be able to finish in the points yuki no just started a little bit too far back i think okay last lap here might as well give it all the line first he's taken the win come on come on come on come on did we get it yes we beat alonzo by two tenths yuki has literally nothing left in the car i mean a little bit of fuel some tire wear and ricardo closing in Damn it. All right. I don't think that Yuki is this far off of Gasly. I think this game is doing Yuki dirty. But it's still points for us anyway. Pierre Gasly finishes P7. Once again, I think we were P7 before. Yeah. So two P7 so far. Yuki still haven't gotten any points yet. In the constructors, we are P4 now with 12 points total. Another decent race for AlphaTauri. AlphaTauri. But... I really think Yuki should not be that far off of Gasly. 77, 84. I think if Gasly is an 84, then Yuki definitely should be like a 79 or maybe even an 80. Um, but I don't know. So we only gained 2.7 mil because, uh, yes, Gasly finished in a decent position. So that's not great. We need to start... Um, Let's take a look. Exceeding expectations. Okay. So we need to take a look at our drivers. Did we gain any points? Yes. Pierre gained one point. Where do we want to put it? Let's put it into defending. All right. Did Yuki gain any points? No. But Porsche gained a point. Let's put it into reactions. 54 is just horrible. Let's take a look at our staff. Nothing quite yet. Six million dollars left. Where do we want to, maybe we should put it into staff. Race simulators to give our team a little bit better experience. How much does it cost? 2.8 mil. All right, pretty much all of our profit from the last week. All right, guys, that is it for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Once again, Pierre Gasly finishes P6, bringing our constructor total to 12. Yuki outside of the points once again, but I think his rating is a little bit too low. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, stay tuned for more. Remember to eat your bok choy if you think I've earned it, and only if you think I've earned it. Leave a like, comment, or subscribe, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, did I say remember to eat your bok choy? I don't know if I did. But if I didn't, then remember to eat your bok choy. All right.